get you some tea or coffee or popcorn. Just make sure you get comfortable because this video is going to be long. Hey guys, some of y'all might be like, who is this chick? with the blonde hair. I was trying to get this video out and I did not secure my closure down. So it will be sliding a little bit in this video, but please overlook that. Today's video is going to be a haul. And y'all, I have a problem. Like a very real, serious, like I need medical attention problem for some reason this year I feel like it's my first year of teaching all over again because I have been shopping up the Wahoo like I have been on Amazon I've been at Dollar Tree the 99 cent store I've been at Michaels I went to three Dollar Trees today which is ridiculous like why do I need to do that and I told myself you know what self before you decide to go to another store or put anything else in your Amazon cart, I need you to look at what you have at home and then really ask yourself and truly be honest with yourself if you need to purchase anything else. So while I decided to look through all this stuff, I thought I'd bring y'all along for the ride. Oh, not to mention I've been on Teachers Pay Teachers too. Like I don't need this stuff, y'all. My students probably don't need this stuff. My students probably don't care about the stuff that I've gotten. I'm just really excited. This year's theme is going to be like coffee like a coffee a cafe kind of thing so i'm gonna start at the 99 cent store and something that i don't like about the 99 cent store is that everything is not 99 cents so when it first opened up it's called 99 cent only stores for a reason everything is supposed to be 99 cent only but now i don't know who they think they are but it's like dollar general or something because it's it's not 99 cent only so i had this welcome sign from dollar tree but I took it back because I thought this one was a little bit cuter. So it has some gold and brown in it. So I'm going to place this in front of my door. Because as I told y'all before, my school doesn't have very many doors. But this year, somebody thought it was a good idea to give me a door. And I've had um, several rooms at this school. And I've had two rooms that had doors. And this will be my third room. And I'm so happy because... I'm a loud teacher. So the other uh, couple of items that I purchased were, where do I have this in here? This is not from, this is not from 99 cent store. These containers, and these containers seem like they're really, really good quality. Um, they're very large too, and they were $1.99. And uh, you know, they don't really go with the colors that I'm picking. I'm doing more like a, I don't really know if it's gold or if I'm doing gray. I haven't figured that out either gold or gray and green. This is neither of, of those colors, but I still got it. I actually purchased two of them. So here's another one, but I'm going to be giving my um, leadership team that I'm on some items. We've been working together for a year and like, it's not just any old leadership team. It's like a leadership team where we go to conferences together. And our, our theme again this year is dream believe achieve and so i got this right here um is part of the gifts this is going to be for my principal i'll, I'll show y'all i'll actually create a video and show y'all what i end up giving them um but these pins also are going to go with the gifts and then i got this caution tape because you know i've had several moments in my life where i needed caution tape or i thought it was a good idea to have caution tape but then i didn't have any so i saw it there and so i just picked some up so i'm moving on to amazon <laughs> my most exciting purchase this summer has had to has to be this right here and this is a laminator i have been wanting a laminator for a while but not really I've never really justified why I really needed one because I can use it at, at work. But the issue is that if you don't prep during the summer, it's going to be very, very difficult to prep once school gets started. So I have been prepping like crazy, laminating stuff um, to the point where I ran out of laminating pouches and I need to get some more. Also from Amazon is a doorbell. So I'm really excited. I've got the gray one 
and this is a wireless doorbell it has different um sounds that come on it but i'm i'm really really excited about this doorbell it's just like you know an easier attention getter i am going to be doing some breakout things and i purchased these toolboxes last year from dollar tree these are all the same like lock and keys but my students are in second grade and the combination lock is going to be too much for them so even though they're all the same lock like they'll be fine using this on that toolbox um and i will be sure to bring y'all with me when we actually do the breakouts i also have these sticky clips i've never used them but um pocket full of primary she talks about these and she loves these and speaking of that y'all recently um someone who is very supportive of my channel and i really don't think she meant it in a negative way but i did get a little like hurt by the comment but when I did a mini classroom transformation, I'm like in the video, I did not say I got this idea from Pocket Full of Primary, but I did let Michelle of Pocket Full of Primary know like in the comment section of her videos, like all, of, I think she has two main um, classroom transformation videos. So I let her know that I was using her idea. I let her know when I used it. I DM'd her on Instagram my video and let her know about it. I also linked in the description box like her video and also the woman who I purchased my um, fraction information um, my resources from on Teachers Pay Teachers. I also linked her down below but um, one of the viewers she asked me why didn't I give her credit um, in the video and I was kind of hurt because the way that I took it was it's kind of like equivalent to like why did you steal that from someone and not tell everybody who you got it from like that's how I took it whether she meant it that way or not or just wondered why I didn't give someone credit you know I was kind of hurt because it's kind of like I don't steal from people like teachers we borrow things from everybody like she might have seen that idea somewhere and took it and ran with it and we we see ideas and we use them and so maybe in the moment when I was teaching um, you know, my class, I didn't stop and pick up the camera and say, hey, I got this idea from so and so, but like I gave credit where credit was due. And so that's all, all I'm trying to say is that many, like you're going to see teachers reuse other teachers' ideas all the time. Like that's what we do. We learn something and teachers are always learning and sharing. And that's just how the world goes around. People learn stuff and they share it with others and it's okay. I apologize if someone gets offended if I don't specifically say where I got something from or who I got it from but please just know that in my heart like I'm not trying to steal anybody's shine or anything like that. That's the whole reason why I started my YouTube channel was to be able to share what I do with other people. So I just wanted to say that Sorry about the rant, but I just felt like saying it. Uh, the room that I'm in this year does not have carpet in it. And I've always had a rug in my room. I've always had my lovely magenta pink rug. And this year, um, a, a student got sick on it. She threw up on my rug. And I cut the piece that she threw up on and I threw that away. But then as the year went on, I just ended up throwing the whole thing away. Because when I bring my students to the floor, they cannot sit on a cold floor like they'll probably complain. And our mascot, we are the Wildcats. And so I got this, these Playmat puzzle things and they have little paw prints on them. They're so cute. They are brown, because I'm going more with, I think a brownish, greenish theme or something. I don't know, like, like Starbucks. Like they fit together. I actually purchased two of these. My hope is that I can connect these and make one uh, seating area. Moving on to Michael's. I have these that I'm really excited about. Of course, Michael's had their um, painter sale, so I don't remember how much this was, but it was significantly cheaper than it normally is. I got the clear ones. I didn't really want the rainbow ones, but a lot of people use these for task cards and that's what I'm going to use them for. Okay, then I have a end of these. These are the iris containers and I have already labeled them by the months. And last year, based on our scope and sequence in math, we did graphs. And in science, we did force and motion. So I'm going to put these on the sides. I didn't do it yet because I don't know what our scope and sequence is yet. They have not released it. 
and I don't know if that's what we'll be doing again in August. I mean, October. And I put two folders inside, one for math, one for science, and I'll probably do like a whole other video dedicated to how I'm going to exactly use these in my classroom. What? He said he likes my lipstick. He just keeps staring at my lips. What about the hair? You look different. Mm. Is that good? Kind of. Kind of. Yeah, can't show everybody my stuff, man. <laughs> okay. Love you. Me too. Adios. Adios, amigos. Is the rest of all this stuff is from Dollar Tree. It's just ridiculous. So I'm just gonna. <laughs> I haven't posted it yet, but I made a video of me creating these and they actually go like if you can see I have a lot of rose gold and pink in here. These I created, but I have the little wall art that are similar to this from Dollar Tree. And this year I'm not going to have a teacher's desk, but I still want to have like a place where I have my things. So I think I'm going to like, I don't know. This is totally not my classroom, but I'm going to probably hang these around. Then I have these bins, and I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for, um, but these trays, three dark brown and three light brown. I also got these. I have three dark brown and three light brown, but these are the smaller ones. They are pretty deep too, which I really like. And I also got the lids that come with them. Now, both of these, I really have no idea what I'm going to do with them but I just cannot pass them up. I got some four cones and these are big cones. Y'all, Dollar Tree normally has the really small ones, but these are so big and MJ was like, mommy, what are you getting those for? And I told him, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know why I need cones, but I felt like I had to get them because I hadn't seen them this size and you never know. You never know when you might need to put up a caution sign. I don't know y'all. I don't know why I got that. See what I'm talking about? I have a problem. These popcorn containers. I normally give out popcorn like on Meet the Teacher. And so these were two for a dollar and I thought I could use these or I saw an idea. I don't remember where it was, but um, I could spray paint these and then use them as decoration for something else. So I just got these because I might use them. And these are going to be for the other ladies that are on the team with me. I got buttons because... This. I'm gonna put these by the cone. These are the little lineup shoes, and I have always been skeptical about getting these because they're stickers, and I've, I've always thought, you know, on carpet, I might have to have something else to reinforce them. But because, like I said, I don't have carpet in my room, these will be really good to put on the floor so that when the students are lining up, they know where to stand. I got these dot labels, which I'm so excited about because I struggled to find them. Like Dollar Tree normally has the ones with like the 75 cents, 50 cents, but these are just the white ones. And I saw the idea, but I'm just always clicking on Pinterest and YouTube and Instagram and all of that. And I see these ideas and I'm just like, oh my goodness, I have to do that. So the idea was um, with these shot glasses, and you take them, and I think the picture that I saw, decimals were used, but um, she said that you could do this with like multiplication, addition, and all of that. So I think I'm going to like put some numbers on here and then place the stickers on the bottom of these cups. And then um, some kind of way the students are going to stack them as they're adding or subtracting. I have command hooks. Um, because I'm going to be doing brag tags this year and I'm actually not doing brag tags I'm doing brag books so I thought that because I have normally at least 50 students having the necklaces would be really hard for me to just have like a whole display with 50 necklaces so I thought that if I put these hooks on the wall and then put little um, binder rings and hook the brag books on there that will be a better way to like display the books. If I can't find enough, then some people are gonna get these and some people are going to get these. But I'm really hopeful that I can find a couple more of these because I really like these more. I got these socks just because when I do my little fraction bakery, because I do plan on doing it again next year, I can be a little bit more into it with some socks. 
we do a recycling unit so I thought I could use this what's going over here with the comb I think I got this last year but then I never took it to school I got these two but I don't really know which one I should take into my classroom I think I just got excited when I saw all the gray so I got these collapsible containers I have four of them don't know why I'm having a cafeteria table in my room this year. Y'all, cafeteria table seats are not comfortable. So I thought I could use these. They have green in them, and green is going to be in my room. So I thought I could sit these on them. I kind of thought about cutting them out, but then I was like, oh, that's too much work. So I don't know if I'm going to use these on there just to give it a little bit of cushion or if I'm just going to put these on the chairs. And I did get 12 of them because, if I remember correctly, the cafeteria tables have 12 seats on them this was not in one setting okay this was like in a lot of settings I think these are from Walmart or maybe they're from Dollar Tree I don't remember but I have two of these um, I use stem bins in my class and so I needed a couple more these not sure why I got them I have them in green blue and purple I think at work already probably because they're gray but I got six of them these are for binders so I can label them. Maybe these will be easier to, to um, for me to label instead of trying to stick it inside of the binder things that are so terribly hard for me to put things in. I got some Velcro, Velcro strips. These buckets, um, I got eight of them just because they came uh, to, to a pack. And my plan is to have these on the tables or under the tables or just in a spot and have like a trash collector to where like when we cut stuff, um, you know, I don't want students to have to keep getting up and going to the recycle bin or the trash can. They can just dump this, dump their trash in here and then one student can get up and throw this away. I have all this gray stuff and I think gray will be okay. In the These are cookie sheets from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use washi tape or masking tape or something and I have went and numbered it's only numbered to 24. I think I do have like an extra pack. Yeah. I have pink and I have blue one for me and then one for my partner teacher. And then I have like eight more of each on here in case I have more students than just 24, which I probably will. That's like going to be my where are, where are you? So I'll probably put like nurse, I don't know, office, restroom, something. I don't have the logistics. I need to figure that out. I have these little Jenga, like Jenga pieces. I'm going to add or write using permanent marker, like different um, facts and things like that so the students can play Jenga um, while they practice their math. Uh, it's like I have all these receipts. Like, just I have these containers. I usually like these and the students will put their math and science journals in here. These, I just got them. That's what I keep saying, I just got them. I decided that I needed to look at what I had in here and talk about it so I can like be real with myself. Is that a good idea? I have these and last year I almost got these for my glue sponges and for some reason I opted to get green these and made my glue sponges with them and even though these have lids I don't really think they are the like I think that air still seeps in some kind of way it's because those glue sponges seem to dry out like tremendously quickly so Next year, I'm going to use these. I got six of them. And I got these for my planner because one of my parents bought me a planner for this coming year. And I don't really plan, but I have been doing it this summer and I'm really proud of myself. And it's kind of cute. I just don't have time to really do it, but um, I got more stickers for that. Then I got this wall decal because I want to make some more of those canvases and y'all Dollar Tree has these little tiny cute canvases they are six by eight and for some reason I thought I needed six of them but they are the cutest little things and so I'm going to be doing some more canvas art this is something that I have been looking for one of my co-workers loves elephants and so that is going to my gift pile I have some painters tape because 
Why not? Along with the gifts, I have these candles that I'm giving to each of them that says, follow your arrow. Look at this ribbon. This is so cute. Ugh. So I'm going to wrap everything up with this ribbon because it matches. And it's just so sticky cute. I got this for my purse because I like to do that. It's It just feels really nice. I got this really big thermometer because um, I teach science and we have the little tiny thermometers, but like, wouldn't you be so excited if your teacher had this big old thermometer? Okay, I have sharpeners, more receipts. I have sharpeners because I don't let my students sharpen pencils during the day. So I'm going to put one of them at each table. It can't use the, the that one like during class. So I'm putting this on my board for my stuff. Um, Miss May of One Fab Teacher, she talked about how she uses, I think she said like the sticker note flags with her small groups in the, like her written calendar. And so I, I was like, oh, that's a good idea. So I got these. We're, we're almost done guys, don't, don't leave me. We're almost done. Y'all look at all these receipts. I have um, pencil holders. If this can fit inside of the caddy, that would be awesome. But I'm thinking it's a little bit too big. Okay, I am planning on doing a classroom transformation based on pocket full of primaries football transportation. Transportation. Transformation. So I was kind of thinking, and I don't even know if I'm going to do this. I might end up taking these back. But like I wanted to like invite my students to that classroom transformation with these um, football invitations. Students these days, they get evites and they don't even really get mail, their parents get it. So like, I think they'd be excited to receive an invitation from their teacher to a fun day. I also got um, footballs, so two red, two orange, two blue, and two green for our Football transportation. Why do I keep saying transfer transportation, y'all? Our football room transformation. So this is the last thing I think I'm really excited about. It's my clipboards. So I just purchased the brown ones and I got I think 24 of them or something. And on each one there is a bitmoji. And I love bitmojis. I have them all in my room. So they're very motivating and it's just me. It's my bitmoji. So the students always love to see my bitmoji. So it's like high five, cool. I'm not going to go through each of them, but they are all motivational. So proud of you, smart. It's like a fist pump. Two thumbs up saying excellent. You got this. Even this one, like you tried. They might not get the answer right, but they tried. Then this one, killing it. Um, and then this container is from Walmart. Well, if you've made it to the end, like you, you the real MVP, cause this was a lot of stuff. Please don't judge me, okay? Don't judge me. Now that I see how much damage I have done, I think I'll just stop, like until at least summer's over, maybe. So I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more, make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I know that y'all like these kind of videos. If you love what you see and you wanna see more, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you let somebody else know. Like tell them, go watch this girl, she crazy. Hey, I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. And thank y'all so much for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you let me know below. If you wanna see or hear more about something that you saw in this haul, make sure you let me know in the comments below. What kind of things are you excited for um, for the summer or for this coming school year or whatever you have going on in your life, I wanna know, so let me know. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope it helps some of you out. Bye.